Let's meet the two sides. And uh, we'll start with Canada. And wearing number one at uh, one meter 96, six foot five. Really felt the heat in the uh, second match here on center court against the Austrian pair, Sam Pedlo. And the Canucks are in the house. Pedlo in his uh, first world championship. Sam Schachter, the uh, backcourt player in his second world championship. He came ninth in The Hague with Josh Binstock two years ago. Uh, the taller of the two, 198, six foot six. So let's introduce you to the Spanish pairing. Uh, they look very similar. Uh, but number one, Pablo Herrera, 35 years of age, made his debut on the World Tour back in 2001. 17 seasons on the tour. One meter 93, six foot four. Pablo Herrera and Adrian Guevara, uh, three times fifth of the World Championships. Guevara, one meter. 93, six foot four, 29 years of age. The uh, black band on his left arm, the easiest way to tell them apart. They are that similar. They're the same height, pretty much the same build and wearing exactly the same clothing, which is always handy. And uh, as I say, seeded sixth, but with a world tour ranking of 10. The Canadian seed is 16th with a world to a ranking of 13. So this is going to be very close. Look how hot it is again today. It's over 52 degrees. It's what, 25 to 1. Four o'clock this afternoon due to be the hottest time of the uh, day. Interestingly, the Canadians may be a new pair this season, but these two have met two times already. And it's got one win apiece. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment, but it's going to be the Spanish pair and... Uh, Guevara, who get us underway. Uh, the Spanish draw first blood. Oh, the service ace on his second serve for uh, Guevara. A wonderful serve. Now the Austrians in the second pool match that the Canadians played went at San Pedro a lot on the serve as the service error comes in. Trying to make him do a lot of running in the heat, moving from front to back. And in his post-match after, as Pedro uh, acknowledged the fact that they played very tactical, going to him, trying to tire him out. And it seems that the uh, Spanish pair are doing the same. Pedro with the error. So first serve for Herrera. Oh, good work from the Spanish pair, but the advantage with Canada. Can Pedro finish it off? Goes cross court. Yes, he can. <laughs> Good desperate defense from the Spanish pair. Pedro doesn't make the error. So Shakhtar. Linia, Linia, the call, but it's well picked up by Shakhtar, who tries a back of the hand flip, which doesn't come off. Good get, and then here, pops to go with the backhand, not fancy taking it on his left hand. Waiting for the ball to be picked up by the poor boy, and uh, he's uh, now got it. 
And Pedro plays it. It might have gone out. So advantage with Spain. And can he finish? Down the line, he can. Gavira makes it 5-2 Spain at the first side switch. Good work, rolling it over the Pedlo attempted block. So Gavira continues to serve, and again they go to Pedlo. That's why. So, so good start here from the Spanish pair. Pedlo seeing an awful lot of the ball in these early exchanges. Yeah, good work from Pedlo. Gets up nice and tall, way above the net, and uh, makes the spike. Now, this is what he was talking about, having to serve and run into the net, how tiring it was. Well, that's a service error, so he doesn't have to do the run on this occasion. But it was the constant uh, ball being played to him that he found difficult in the heat in his second match here on centre court. Touched and out, so uh, Canada get the point and it's 7-4 to Spain touched <laughs> Gavira with the float serve again to Pedlo. Oh, somehow he's got a hand on it. And it's uh, <laughs> taken the, the cap off Herrera. And the Canadians have just steadied the ship a little bit, having uh, lost those uh, early points. They've uh, alternating between uh, four and three points as the deficit. What they need to do is win some points on serve. We're just uh, cleaning the glasses. Unlucky for Padlo. Super slow mo's as the attempted block. Spain 9 5. Just long. Didn't miss by much. <laughs> so there, that. Looking for another race. Signal from Pedlo as to where he's going to block. Cross court with real power from Gavira. time Herrera standing tall and 11-6 the Canadians have seen enough they're going to call a timeout and uh, it's been an excellent start from the Spanish pair 
who have quietly gone about their business in this World Championships. So experienced, as we've mentioned. A lot of headline talk about the Brazilians. And, uh, perhaps Doppler and Horse of, of Austria. But certainly the Spanish pair are playing well. If they get a, a favourable draw in the knockout stages, who's to say they won't better their uh, best of fifth place at these World Championships? So everybody trying to keep as cool as possible. So the team's return, and it will be uh, Gavira who will continue to serve, 11-6. We're uh, four points away from the technical timeout. Again, Pedlo, the recipient. Yeah. The block. And in any way, but he's getting close, isn't he? So making those blocks, tip down the line. Good play by Herrera. Shakhtar taking that one. Good blocking. And eventually Shakhtar finds the kill. Good work from Shakhtar and kept alive by Pedlo, but advantage still with Spain. Can they finish? Yes, they can. Gavira through the block. And it's a technical timeout. It is uh, the Spanish pair who are in charge of this one. Apologies for any language that may offend. So yeah, just going back to uh, their two meetings earlier this year. The first meeting was in The Hague at the three-star event where Gavira and Herrera seeded six, uh, beat Pedro and Shakhtar, who seeded nine, 21-15, 21-19. Then, uh, only a couple of weeks ago at the Long Beach President's Cup, uh, Pedlo and Schachter, who were seeded seven there, beat Gavira and Herrera, who were seeded nine, 21 15, 21 14. So the uh, higher seeded pair has always prevailed uh, this season. So Gavira and Herrera will be hoping that uh, that continues here in uh, Vienna as uh, Gavira serves to Pedlo once again. Service ace from Pedlo. Comfortably in. Oh, unlucky. Just 
Just chops onto the sand. Shanta disappointed. Vera, power from her there that Shakta reads it. Shakta to finish it off. But well read by Herrera, he'll get the chance. Good block, but it's landed out. Yeah, just saw the sand temperature there, and uh, I mean, it is hot, but uh, talking to some of the players this morning in the hotel, they were saying, bizarrely, the sand isn't that warm. You see no dark particles within it to attract the heat and retain the heat. Big height from Herrera, risky in these blustery conditions. <laughs> pays off for the Canadians. <laughs> and the Canadians now just starting to come back into it. Herrera unable to control his first touch. Back to within two. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, good work from Pedlo and Schachter. Schachter with a full length dive to keep it alive. Pedlo with the awareness to see the Spaniards out of position had to go over on that touch anyway that was the third touch and just beat Herrera to it so it's a one point game and it's all level 15 all and timeout called by Spain let's see First time that the scores have reached parity since the very start of the match. So, good run of points there for the Canadians. Five to level things up. Canadians actually played off against each other to decide uh, which of the Canadian pairs that they were then in would go to the Olympics and take up Canada's second spot that they'd earned through the world rankings. And Shakhtar and Binstock to beat Pedlo and O'Gorman to go to Rio, but uh, sadly for Pedlo, uh, uh, sorry, sadly for Shakhtar and Binstock, it was a 19th place finish on Copacabana. So Schachter is in a rich vein of serving form. Can they make it six points on the bounce? Come on! Oh, it's another fantastic get from Schachter, who's turning it on in the backcourt. But advantage to Spain. Four, four, challenge, 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 four. Pedlo challenging four. Well, the first referee hasn't called for. Schachter having a word with the first referee. Pedlo was calling challenge in, in the middle of the, the rally. Let's have another look, see if he has a case. Right, it was from, where's one, two, three, four. An illegal request, he can't challenge for that. 
But it was missed, and you can understand why it was missed because it. The challenge was illegal. So it hits, it hits the shoulder, and it hits the right shoulder, which the, the first referee can't see. So Spain a little lucky, but you can understand why the first referee didn't see it. Now. Can the Canadians challenge what they obviously perceive to be an injustice in the right way and uh, kick on rather than Pedlo trying to take his anger out on the ball here on the serve? And very sensibly, he just goes for a floated serve. Come on, come on. And it takes his cap off. And he's just taking more time here, Pello, going across to clean his glasses, and that's yeah, very sensible. is made by Herrera. Yeah, Reddit going cross court. Hedlow receives serve once more. Another block, still alive. Oh, double touch from Hedlow. And having just got themselves back on level terms at 16 all, they can see three points. It's another good block by Gavira. He's done it again. Well, that is, what, three blocks on the bounce for Gavira, and it gives Spain four set points. again he blocks his team's way to the first set what a performance that is from the man at the net Gavira all over it and no wonder he gives it the fist pump three or four on the bounce and from 16 all five points on the bounce makes it 21-16, first set to Spain. Oh, what a thoroughly enjoyable first set that was. The Canadians battled hard to get back onto level terms, but couldn't quite carry it through. More attacks for the Canadians, but five blocks from Gavira. much-needed relief for the crowd as the uh, fire hoses are turned on. Could probably do with a, a constant fire hose to keep them cool. So, we're back out on court and it's uh, going to be Pedlo to uh, get this second set underway. Serves to Gavira, who can't control the pace. And as per the first set, the team serving first win the first point. Second point on serve for Pedlo. Is out. Oh, 
Herrera trying to keep it alive through the net. So no joy. Service error from Shakhtar. 3 2 Canada. Pedlo decides that uh, a soft touch is the way to get past the block. Rivera's been blocking so well. to serve and to Pedlo once again. Good blocking, good reactions from Pedlo to keep it alive. Shakhtar can't get his spike over the net and uh, it's four all. over the net with a second touch. Put up a good set instead. Just long from Gavira. Shot and through the pedlo block, just caught the right thumb. Yeah. Good work from pedlo climbing into that spike. Nice touch. Now Shakhtar goes to clean his glasses. And first referee just having a little look and trying to hurry things along. Should be 12 seconds between points. Just long. And there's no challenge, so the second side switch at 7 all. They're usually about 12 seconds between points, but with the added heat. It'll be granted perhaps 15 seconds. Oh, good work from Shakhtar Pedlo, doing well. 
With advantage with Spain. Herrera to finish off. Misses. Touched. Going to challenge the touch. And uh, Pedro saying, don't bother to challenge because I did touch it. So that's good to see. Although the admission did come after the challenge was made. So at least we don't have to go upstairs. Thumbs up given by uh, Herrera to Pedlo, saying thanks very much. And that's uh, good sportsmanship, just what we like to see. Come on, just long. And that's a missed opportunity for Spain. Perhaps Pedlo just getting some reward for his honesty there. So serve from Pedlo. That's yeah. hits the line. That is a cracking serve. And Canada back in touch, uh, back in front. on the rich vein of form with his spiking right now. Come on. Herrera hits the line. Oh, just missed it. Herrera read it it was too good from Pedlo and at the uh, technical timeout it's Canada who are in front this time 11 at points to 10 well the Spanish pair have put two world tour wins to their name the Shaman Open in April 16 and the Moscow Grand Slam back in May 15 but uh, five times they've been second uh, the three star event in Hague uh, this summer in June at the Long Beach Grand Slam in July 13, the Mislavica Open in May 2010, and then the Hague Open and the Marseille Open in 09, August and July respectively. But you can see how much work Pedlo is being asked to do by the Spaniards. I think we can actually run an X on him on that side. They've also finished uh, third eight times, the uh, Spanish pair. There's a team from Kenya. All continents represented here at these FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships, as you would expect. The Canadian fans will be hoping that their team can push on in the second half of this second set. Pedlo to serve. And the service error levels it up. More good spiking from Pedlo. Hear that? Come on. He rolls it into the back court. Right. So 
que ver. Ah, eso es con el serve. Head low. Finds the empty sand. Second consecutive service error from Pedlo. Again, they go to Pedlo. Touch off Pedlo. So Spain back in front. 14-13. And a run of... Uh, Three points give Spain a slender advantage as we get to the business end of this second set. Canada need to side out and then win some points on serve. Yeah, cute from Bedlo. So now, can Shakhtar go on one of those runs? Remember that five-point run he went on in the first set? And he needs one of them right here. Good initial block from Pedlo, but he couldn't do anything about the second spike. Oh, kindly for Spain. Oh, there, there. there to get the block back. Head low. Really laying into that one. Spanish team all going right. Head low going the other way. Service error. There's been a number from Pedlo. Six in the match from Pedlo. Just gets the line. That was desperately close, but it keeps the Canadians in touch. Well, Pedlo getting a little fortunate there. He turned his back, didn't know where the ball was, and it just dropped out. Challenge by Espanya for block touch. So, a challenge for a block touch. Would make it 18 16 rather than 17 all. Pedro turned his back, so I'm not sure he knows. Well, it's hard to tell from that angle, but it is a touch off the left arm. And it's, uh, 18-16. Good work from Pedlo. 
side switch with Spain in front. Side outs required for the match and this unbeaten record and 100% set record stay intact. Can't get there, Schechter. And this is it. Big point. So this to bring about three match points. It's long. 18, 19. 18, 19. So 1918 to Spain. Big point this. Come on, come on, come on. Off the block. Brilliant from Shakhtar. Oh, yes. What a huge point from the Canadians. Shakhtar. Absolutely delighted, it's all level at 19 all. That's a huge point, because had Spain sided out, they would have had two match points, and the second one, if they needed it, would have been on the Canadian serve. They might still get a match point, but it would be on their own serve. Schachter with some brilliance in the back court. Pedlo didn't let his teammate down. Have another look at this one. That is fantastic, and the weight of it as well to give Pedlo the chance to put down the spike. Herrera, I think, caught on aware that could be huge in terms of the match. So, Spain, just hoping to. Take any momentum off the Canadians. Yeah. It's 19 all. Shakhtar's there again. Oh, yes, the Canadians come up with two huge points at the business end of their second set, and they now have a set point. Oh, my word, this is brilliant from the Canadians. They have responded fantastically at the clutch. Shakhtar loved it, but then can't find the serve and the set point goes for the time being. Herrera to serve. Oh, the second referee is saying it's Herrera. Herrera is saying, no, it's not, it's uh, Gavira. So the second referee's just gone over. He's saying it's number one, but... Uh, So they're going back to just check. Yes. Uh, you can see the scoreboard on the desk, 20 up. They've checked and it is to be Herrera to serve. So, big point here. Herrera gets a net court. And Pedlo finds Sand to give the Canadians a second set point. Oh, 
dear. The service to error. And the second set point comes and goes. Once again from Herrera, and this is a first match point. And Herrera, who blocked his team to the first set, might be blocking his team to the match. Rivera serves again to Pedlo. Herrera gets up. Pedlo beats him this time. coming to try and keep it in. It's uh, second match point for Spain. Pablo Herrera will serve. Then just floats it to Pedro. Ask Gavira to make the block, which he does! And Spain make it three straight wins in a row. And Herrera wins both sets with a huge block. Brilliant performance from Pablo Herrera. No wonder it's all smiles for him and Adrien Gavira because they have taken down the Canadian number 16 seeds. 21, 16, 24, 22. Valiant effort by the Canadians, but uh, they were just too good for the Canadians. Let's have another look at it. Gavira has been blocking brilliantly all match. And he takes it through to the very end. Seven at five blocks for Herrera. Absolute brilliance, disappointing for Pedlo, who's made to do an awful lot of work in that match. They serve to him nearly every time. And they've done so well to get back into it, those big points at 19-18 and at 19-all. Pedlo throws his shades away in disgust. But take nothing away from the Spanish pair, as I said earlier, quietly going about their business here at the World Championships. And they take out Pedro and Shakhtar 21-16, 24-22.